Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to make an auto restarter. Uh, the reason we're going to do it, it's quite simple. If the server uh, needs to get a restart or if it crashes for whatever reason, let's just simulate that real quick. Let's do server restart. Let's do one second. Uh, it's going to close. It does not boot back up. Um, we're going to need to manually open the server again. I don't really think we're, we all want to do that. We want it to be automatic. If it crashes, sure, you know, it's bad, but uh, you're going to need to bring it back up. So there are multiple ways to make that, but obviously it's uh, going to do with it. I'm going to go with the easiest one. Uh, assuming you have uh, the extension, uh, the fact that you can see like extensions on files, uh, it's going to do control panel. Uh, you're going to do file explorer options. Uh, you're gonna do view and uh, hide extensions for known file types. Gonna need to make sure this is unchecked and you're gonna hit apply just to demonstrate what it looks like. It's gonna look exactly like this. You see error, there is no txt, there is no log, there is no anything. Uh, if I do uh, this, it's gonna show every single one of them. And this is exactly what we want to do. So at the moment, I'm just going to create a brand new document. I'm going to name it as a uh, restarter.bat and I'm going to remove .txt. If for whatever reason you cannot save it as .bat, you can just make a new document. You can call it whatever you want and we're going to uh we're going to save it whenever we do. Let's just do this for example gonna save it as and we can save it as dot txt uh, just from here dot, uh, dot bat like this and it should work just fine let's see if we have it there you go all right so i'm gonna delete this i'm gonna keep the restarter dot bat i'm gonna right click i'm gonna do edit uh, you can also use Notepad++, but I just, I want to zoom in on the text so you guys can see what I'm typing. But, uh, I mean, you could do Notepad++ as well. Um, so, what we want to type over here is, first of all, the title. Uh, the title I want to type is uh, Serverlands uh, Test Server Azeroth Core. Uh, I'm going to do Run. On this line, third line, world server.exe. This comes from this file, so it has to be in this folder. Just uh, for cleric cl clarification, it's gonna be next to the core folder, uh, build folder. You can you can actually delete this. You go into the, your build folder, whatever the latest one is. You're gonna go to bin. Uh, release with debug information and just this folder. Um, so I'm gonna do this and go to run. I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna exit. Now this is not empty. Um, I'm gonna close the server right now and I'm gonna execute it via the BAT file. So we see that the title here is uh, server lands to server, test server, sorry. Uh, as of core, I'm gonna wait for it to boot. Uh, let's do a quick restart. Server restart one one second. It's gonna restart and it boots back up. It works exactly the same if we have a crash or whatever. Uh, everything here is logged, documented, and I did not touch this for whatever reason. Now, one additional thing. Let's assume I need to compile the server. All right. I need to make some uh, changes, some edits, and to do that, I need the server to be offline. I need this to be closed. Yeah, I need the server to be closed. So I cannot compile something if the server is online. So what I can do is I can control C, it will close the server and it will keep this in check. So what I can essentially do is I can close this build folder and I can just type N over here and it will restart the server from the beginning without me ever needing to go into that folder. So essentially I can just close this, keep this open and just do whatever I want over here by control C and pressing N again, uh, that I do not want to close. I do not want to terminate this, uh, uh, terminal 
a bad job. I wanted to end and it boots the server back up. Alright, so it's it's good. It's useful if you want to close it for like a few seconds just to finish compilation or something and then boot it back up. That's uh, just a tip. You guys can do whatever you want. Uh, best of luck.